Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So, beta, in today's session, we are going to go ahead and discuss what we need to do for IIT Delhi M Economics Additional Seats exam that we have. Right. So, as you know, that since last year, IIT Delhi has started conducting this exam for the additional fifteen seats. And uh, last year, there was this first time that the exam had taken place. अब इस एग्जाम के लिए हम कैसे प्रिपेयर करें अपने आप को सबसे पहले हमें ये जानना है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल गो अहेड एंड डू लास्ट ईयर पेपर इट इज एन एक्सेलेंट पेपर बेटा आई आई टी डेली का आप लास्ट ईयर का पेपर उठा के जस्ट गो अहेड एंड डू दैट पेपर राइट एंड एज फार एज दैट पेपर इज कंसर्न देर आर सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन इन दैट पेपर राइट एंड द सोल्यूशन टू ऑल दो सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन आई हैव पोस्टेड ऑन योर पोर्टल so you can refer to my solutions to check your answer but i will suggest ki first try to do those questions yourself pehle apne aap karo try to see what um, and where you are going wrong and then look at my solution theek hai apart from this so this is the first thing that you need to go ahead and everyone needs to do the past year paper of iit delhi which has these 60 questions and then what next thing beta you will go ahead and you will do so next you need to go ahead and you need to do all the iit jam paper revisit iit jam paper to jo bhi past year iit jam ke papers hain jo humne already kiye hue hain you need to go ahead and you need to revisit those papers also and you need to redo those questions third you need to make sure that you go ahead and you do the mock papers again to so all 10 iit delhi ke jo mock iit ke jo mock papers hain you need to go ahead and you need to redo those mock papers and apart from this apart from redoing the mock papers you need to go ahead and you need to do all the past year questions of ISI and DSC that I have done in class with you from the point of view of micro and macro economics. Not all. सारे past year उठाने की जरूरत नहीं है. But whatever I have taken in the advanced lectures with you guys, whatever advanced lecture में हमने past year questions cover किए हैं, जो daily हम cover कर रहे थे with the syllabus, you need to make sure that you do those questions of ISI and DSC also. So let me give you some examples, beta. For example, if I give you this is a very famous utility function. If I give you a utility function which says min of two x plus y comma uh, x plus two y, you should be able to solve this kind of utility function. If I give you u is equal to median x y z, you should be able to solve this utility function. If I give you u is equal to min of x y plus max of two x comma two y, you should be able to solve this kind of utility function. U is equal to lex x plus y. मतलब जितना भी हमने utility functions we have done in the advanced lectures, you need to make sure that you revise those utility functions well. ठीक है, this is something which can be definitely asked in exam. then i am expecting that there can be a question this year on food stamp program right there can be a question this year on food stamp program so you need to make sure that you do that food stamp program question very very well acche se us question ko food stamp program ke question ko karna hai apart from this although it did not come last year but there is a chance that you can go ahead and you can get a question on warp or sarp so you need to make sure that you do that warp and sarp question well theek hai isko acche se you need to go ahead and revise this and it can be asked in exam then you have to make sure that you know how we go from marshallian to hicksian demand curve and hicksian to marshallian demand curve what is shepherd's lemma ye sab aapko acche se padhna zaruri hai now when we talk about uh, the production theory so within production theory you need to go ahead and you need to know very well what is elasticity of substitution do few questions on elasticity of substitution 
डू क्वेश्चन ऑन रिटर्न टू स्केल ठीक है डू क्वेश्चन ऑन फाइंडिंग आउट द प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस कंज्यूमर सरप्लस डेड वेट लॉस दिस कैन बी आस्ट इन एग्जाम देन बेटा एज फार एज मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर इज कंसर्न आई थिंक देर कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस्ट फ्रॉम डिस्क्रिमिनेटिंग मोनोपोलिस्ट सो फर्स्ट डिग्री सेकेंड डिग्री थर्ड डिग्री को अच्छे से रिवाइज कर लो एंड देर कैन ऑल्सो बी अ क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस्ट ऑन योर ऑलिगोपोली मॉडल्स राइट सो ट्राई टू डू दो मॉडल्स वेरी वेल देन देर कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस्ट ऑन एक थियोरेटिकल क्वेश्चन आ सकता है ऑन फर्स्ट या सेकेंड वेलफेयर थियोरम and you need to make sure that you do that very very well and apart from that there can be a question which can be asked from game theory last year also question number 60 was on game theory to wo uh, simultaneous game pe tha there are chances that this time they may ask you a question on mixed strategies so you need to go ahead and do that question also acha then there can be a question which can be asked on auction theory ठीक है तो मैक्सिमम एक ही क्वेश्चन आएगा सो इफ यू थिंक कि नहीं दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड आई डोंट हैव टाइम टू गो बैक टू ऑप्शन थ्योरी एंड वी डू द ऑप्शन थ्योरी दैट वी हैव डन तो यू कैन गो हेड एंड स्किप इट बट इफ यू थिंक यू हैव टाइम टू डू दिस तो बेटा आई हैव पोस्टेड लेक्चर्स ऑन द पोर्टल ऑन ऑप्शन थ्योरी उसको थोड़ा सा पढ़ सकते हो तो प्लीज गो हेड एंड रीड इट आउट then there will be questions that will be asked on your let's go to macroeconomics so in macroeconomics there will be question which will be asked on your uh, uh, first of all islm model for sure jisme there will be question on fiscal policy multiplier monetary policy multiplier then isme na last time there was this very excellent question which was asked so they had given you a complete model और मॉडल देने के बाद दे हैड आस्ट यू व्हेन अंडर व्हाट कंडीशन मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी विल बी इफेक्टिव और वहां पर ना वी हैड टू गो अहेड एंड वी हैड टू यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लिक्विडिटी ट्रैप कि व्हेन इट विल बी इफेक्टिव एंड व्हेन इट विल नॉट बी इफेक्टिव एंड लिंकिंग इट टू लिक्विडिटी ट्रैप मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैड डन इट इन करेक्टली बिकॉज दे वर नॉट एबल टू लिंक द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी टू लिक्विडिटी ट्रैप तो व्हेन यू रीड दीज कॉन्सेप्ट्स ध्यान से पढ़ो कि अंडर व्हाट कंडीशन फिजिकल पॉलिसी इज इफेक्टिव एंड अंडर व्हाट कंडीशन मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी इज इफेक्टिव देन देयर कैन बी दिस ईयर अ क्वेश्चन ऑन टॉबिन स्क्यू क्योंकि लास्ट ईयर नहीं आया था एंड यूजुअली दिस इज अ फेवरेट टॉपिक अमंग द इंस्ट्रक्ट अमंग द प्रॉब्लम सेटिंग पीपल एंड देन यू कैन गो हेड एंड हैव अ क्वेश्चन ऑन ग्रोथ मॉडल now last year there was a question on calder theory now if you just go to your syllabus of last year or this year the growth model does not talk about calder theory but it came right so kabhi kabhi aisa ho jata hai ki kuch alag se dev eco se de de but otherwise i would expect ki agar question aayega to because they have mentioned same only they have mentioned harrod domer they have mentioned they have mentioned harrod domer they have mentioned solo they have mentioned ak model so question should be asked from exactly that part only right okay now comes the most tricky part beta which is maths plus stats because there were huge huge chunk of questions from maths and stats that need to be prepared ek ek karke samjhenge first of all let's focus on stats beta so when it comes to stats it is my high suggestion that you go ahead and you do probability theory very very well and probability theory mein you make sure that you go ahead and you do something which is known as movements also kabhi kabhi movements pe koi question aa jayega ya maximum likelihood estimator pe so you go ahead and you do maximum likelihood estimator acche se and then uske baad there can be questions which will be asked of course on bayes theorem last year also there was a question on bayes theorem ye to karna hi hai you need to do questions on joint distribution last year also there was a question on joint probability distribution so if i give you ki c x square y is your fx y function and i ask you find the value of c for it to be a valid uh, i think i have written exactly last year's question only for it to be a valid probability density function so you need to go ahead and do that then you need to be very very clear between the difference between coefficient of 
डिटर्मिनेशन एंड कोफिशेंट ऑफ को रिलेशन इन दोनों में ही डिफरेंस क्या है वॉट इज आर स्क्वेर वॉट इज आर इसको समझना बहुत जरूरी है यू नीड टू डू ऑल फॉर्मूलाज थरली मतलब इफ आई गिव यू बी वाई एक्स एंड इफ आई गिव यू बी एक्स वाई विल यू बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट आर स्क्वेर If I give you b by x, if I give you r, if I give you standard deviation of x, will you be able to find standard deviation of y? So you need to go ahead and do all these formulas बहुत अच्छे से. You need to be very thorough with questions on type one and type two error. This can be asked in exam. Type one, type two error पे we have practiced a lot of question as part of our stats live lectures. so you need to go ahead and revise those lectures back again they can be asked in exam now let me just uh, go ahead and talk about maths a bit so when we talk about maths maths may the level has been pretty good as far as as iit is concerned so we need to go ahead and we need to maintain the same level that has been asked in maths right so as far as maths is concerned sabse pehle you need to do your set theory very well last time there was no question on logic but logic can come in exam so logic ko bhi acche se pad lena you need to go ahead and you need to do sequences and series as many questions as possible should be practiced you need to go ahead and do limit and continuity very well theek hai when i talk about limit and continuity you need to go ahead and do both for single variable functions and for dual variable functions you also need to go ahead and do differential equation need to do difference equation last year as far as the paper is concerned jo maine analysis dekh kiya hai apna that there were a lot of questions on linear algebra or topology Okay. Although this is something which was not mentioned very thoroughly in your paper in your uh, syllabus, but there were some questions which were asked on closed set, open set, convex set, and some questions on quasi concave, quasi convex versus concave and convex. तो ये कुछ टर्म्स है बेटा विच यू मे वॉन्ट टू गो अहेड एंड लुक इन टू यूजली सी वेन इट कम्स टू क्लोज एंड ओपन सेट या कॉम्पैक्ट सेट दीज आर थिंग्स विच वी वर एक्चुअली टॉट एज पार्ट ऑफ अवर फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर ऑफ डेली स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स आई मीन आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर वाई दे आर गोइंग अहेड एंड गिविंग यू बिफोर इट सेल्फ आई मीन दे आर गिविंग यू एज पार्ट ऑफ एंट्रेंस एग्जाम बट देर आई सो one or two questions on closed set open set so you need to go ahead and look into these concepts and apart from this of course there will be questions on eigen value eigen vector and in ka properties so you need to revise these properties well these properties i have also done multiple times with you in fact when we were going ahead and preparing for cu it also i did these properties with you then you have the same eigen value and eigen vector uh, chapters included both in your intermediate and advanced level mathematics so you need to go ahead and look into these questions well so over and all i can go ahead and say that the paper is not going to be very easy don't you think that it is going to be an, on an easier end and you need to go ahead and practice very well if you are going for this exam don't consider it to be any low than what iit paper you have already gone ahead and given i can just go ahead and i can tell you that uh, i have gone ahead and i have solved the entire uh, Give me one. Okay, I have gone ahead and I have solved this entire paper and posted on the portal. 
but my analysis still goes ahead and suggests that doing only this paper will not be enough but because there is just one paper that you have so apart from this paper it is very very important that you go ahead and you revise all your advanced micro and micro lectures very thoroughly right especially micro macro and you go ahead and you redo all those assignments that i we used to have after the class from the advanced section right so only when you practice the advanced level of micro macro stats maths you will be able to go ahead and clear the exam i wish you all the very luck beta best of luck and i wish to see you at iit delhi thank you